hey guys i'm back at it with another video basically what i want to get into this video is the 180 and 360 wave method like tips and tricks on basically how to fast track your progress also make sure you follow me on snapchat my snapchat is brios or die you can ask me any further tips on there you can also like kind of show me your hair like so it'll be specific to uh my tips will be be specific to you personally so that's also a good way to contact me i'm always on there and i get those quick like i even get to know when you're typing it so it's going to be a more fast way of communicating with me or you can just add a com comment in the comment box below that also works but in today's video we're just going to go through the 180 wave and 360 wave processes like the differences the pros and cons because i was recently talking to one of the, my supporters basically saying that 180 waves um can they go to 360 waves like what do they need to do and the process is a little bit different and yes it's a lot easier but at the same time if you're thinking about transitioning from 180 waves 360 waves just certain things you have to keep in mind so the first thing you have to keep in mind is understanding how long you want to have your hair, like how long you want to wolf your hair and how long you want to uh, wolf for. So when I say wolf, basically it's the top of your head because you're only doing 180 waves. You need to figure out how long you want your hair and how um, long you want to wolf. So like understanding the wolf process, understanding how long your hair is comfortable to you, like how you like your hair is important to know if you're doing 180 or 360s or even transitioning, because you need to know what brushes you need and what products you need. You obviously need a pomade, so definitely get that pomade, get a hard brush, a soft brush, and a medium brush. You definitely need all three if you're looking to go to 360 ways later in the process. But keep that in mind, like you have to figure out how long you want your hair, how you want to fade your hair, how high you want to fade your hair. And, you know, your preferences change. Like you may want a higher fade at some point or you may want a lower fade at different times. So just knowing that if the quicker you know that, the easier the process is and the more you can focus on the top of your head and then later get into the back and the sides and the crown. So also. I'm actually showing process like uh, products that you can use, not like the brush, the hard brush, the uh, tea tree oil, like the olive oil. That's also good for the process to make sure your scalp is good and healthy. That's also going to help with the process. And as I'm showing, showing you now, it's a Torino Pro straight brush. That straight brush is really, really good. Just make sure you're getting down to your scalp. And that way you're breaking any forks and getting down to the pattern. So that's also important. But yeah, just keep in mind that like when you are transitioning 180, 360 waves, the 360 wave part is going to be more complex just because you have more hair to brush and you have more angles to get. So when you're doing that process, having three brushes is going to be easier because you're going to be able to break those forks at a soft brush. You're going to break those forks at a medium and you're also going to be able to break those forks at a harder brush so depending on how long your hair is depends on what brush you use you know your softer brush you use when your hair is a lot shorter medium is like your hair is like more medium and then hard is like when your hair is a lot longer when you're wolfing so having those brushes already out the way is really good because you don't want to lose progress trying to order a new brush and you're getting more curls and you're getting more forks so that hard brush is going to get be able to break all those and i would say that's like kind of like the most important depending on what type of hair you have but if you have a coarse hair that hard brush is a necessity like you have to have that but also too i would focus on making sure that when you are brushing you're using good products you're making sure that you're using like shea moisture i would say the shampoo and conditioner and make sure you're using a good conditioner that is natural that's why I say uh, Shea Moisture, but it really just comes down to like how long you're in a wolf for with uh, making sure your hair is as defined as possible, because the longer you wolf, the better it's going to be. And basically it's going to have a better definition on the longevity of your hair. Like if you want your hair to shine, if you want your hair to be polished, wolfing for longer is definitely give you better results and get you faster to the results that you're looking for for 360 waves. So when I use the TCB olive oil, that also helps with my health of my scalp, make sure my scalp is as healthy as possible. And then also making sure that it's as moisturized as possible. Like it's also moisturizing my hair, but it's getting down to my scalp, which is very, very important because when you're wolfing or you're transitioning from 18360 waves, you want to make sure that your hair is following the process and you want to make sure it's healthy on the 180 wave side and then on the 360 wave side, because you don't want healthy 180 waves and then dry 360 waves so just keep up keep it up and you're going to know that when you're doing the process and you're learning about the do rags and you're learning about like just different steps and then just different avenues of ways you can do it so just keep that in mind 
So what also we're going through the process, I always say like use natural products because, but yeah, natural products is just gonna make sure your hair has longevity. And longevity is basically saying that your hair is gonna be wavy for a longer period of time. So if there is a period where you don't have a do-rag or there is a period where you're not like consistently moisturizing your hair, your hair becomes trained at a certain point. Like after a certain amount of brushing, after a certain amount of um, wearing your do-rags and just understanding like, if you're more consistent, you can take a day off, like, or something like that. Like, if it's an issue or where you can't have a do-rag on, if you're somewhere different, where like you're not at your crib, like your house, you will ha you won't be that far back. You know what I'm saying? You won't lose that much progress, more so. That's better. Like, you're not going to lose all the work you put in, and that helps out when you use natural shampoos, when you use natural conditioners, because then at that point, your scalp is going to reward you. You know what I'm saying? Your scalp is going to be more healthy, more moisturized, so your hair is going to look better. You have to understand that a scalp is basically the foundation for your hair. So the healthier your scalp is, the easier the process is, and then you just want to keep going with it because then once the scalp is nice and healthy, then your hair is going to be nice and healthy and you can focus on the hair then because it all starts off with scalp and then your hair because when your hair is more moisturized, you'll start you know, seeing the benefits of having healthier hair. You won't have breakage. You won't have like dry hair. It won't be brittle. It'll just be a lot stronger and you'll notice that you won't have to like lose a lot of hair through brushing like with your hard brush so just keep that in mind also you want your hair to last you want your waist to last and then you want to be able to make sure you see waves when you get a cut basically that means that your hair is trained and that you've been put in the brushwork to get those results so when you see waves after a cut that's a good sign that you're doing everything to do with your morning routine your night routine and you're just keeping up with that Okay, so understanding your morning and night routine is important. Basically, just showing you that uh, the more consistent you are overall is just the better. You know what I'm saying? And then even having the clarity and everything like that. Like wearing your do rag is a must. That's also something that is in your process. You want to make sure you're wearing a do rag every day, but there may be a day where you may miss, especially when you're first starting out. So don't get discouraged, but just keep that on because that's going to lay down your hair and it's going to make your brushing a lot easier. If you notice, if you skip a lot of wearing your do-rag, your hair is going to be a lot more, I would say, frizzy or it's going to be a lot more difficult to maintain. So understanding that wearing a do-rag is going to make that process a lot easier. And then do-rag combined with nice products is going to give you that clarity and longevity, as I was talking about. But the do-rag just saves everything that you're doing. So like Without having a do-rag, you basically won't have the pattern that you're looking for because when you sleep, it's going to be, you know, tossing and turning. Your hair is going to move, lift up. It's going to move. And then no really amount of brush is going to get you back to the place where you was at because you have to understand your hair isn't trained anymore. Like the longer you go without wearing a do-rag, the less your hair is trained, the less your hair is trained and the more difficult it is. So the good parts work. It's good. The shampoos and everything work. But if you want the connections, if you want no forks, Wearing your do-rag is going to help that out because you don't want to have to every day fix forks because you didn't wear a do-rag. So it's just like simple. Just keep up with it. Just make sure you're up to date with it. And then you won't have as much problems as if you wore it every day. But other than that, that's the end of the video. Make sure you like the video. If you do like the video, I'll see you in my next video. And thank you so much for watching. I am out.